You probably already know this, but 75% of the Earth is covered with water. Of that 75%, only 3% is fresh water, and less than 3% is accessible for human needs, for agriculture and industry. The human body is also 75% water, and this is also true for some other species on the planet, for flora and fauna. Water is found in the cells of all living organisms, thus connecting all forms of life. Fresh water is not only important to the well-being of humans, but also to the well-being of animals, plants and ecosystems. Fresh water systems are rivers, streams, lakes, groundwater and bogs. They are the life support system of our planet because they provide clean water and regulate water cycles and natural ecosystem functions. Wetlands bind chemicals and toxins, maintain nutrient cycles and protect against soil erosion. Riverscapes store and provide us with groundwater and offer protection from floods. They are habitats for people, animals and plants and in this respect we all form a community on and with water, a river community. For us humans, water is not only a matter of survival, but it also has cultural, political and economic significance. In mythology and religion, water has great significance. Think, for example, of the water spirits in sagas, legends and fairy tales, and of the baptismal water in church and holy springs. Water also plays a major role in everyday life, for example, in connection with hygiene and health. Think of daily showers or spas. Water is also an important economic factor. Without water, there would be no agriculture, production of goods, and an important source for energy production would be lost. Finally, Water is a political issue because there can be conflict over who gets to own, control and regulate it, as well as who gets to make decisions about the use of land in river basins. We take it for granted that water comes out of the tap, According to global comparisons, we have a very large water footprint in Europe. Water is in food and in goods, which we consume and also import to a large extent. This high level of water consumption results in not only the overuse of water sources, but also the destruction of riverscapes and the potential depreciation of water quality. In many parts of the world, water is already scarce. Climate change is altering rainfall patterns and water availability. Conflicts over access to clean water will increase in the future. The regulation of rivers and building activities in riverscapes affect freshwater ecosystems and thus the livelihoods of people, animals and plants. As we humans destroy the environment, change the climate and exploit nature and animals, the critical question arises of whether it is right and good to view water, animals and plants only as resources. For example, we might see water as a living force that connects us to everything organic and inorganic creating a shared habitat, even a community of life. Indigenous cultures see water as something sacred, a family member that must be respected and protected so that animal, plant and human communities can thrive on and with the river. The First Nations in Canada say, water is life. To understand water, we must understand our relationship to water. It is not good to think only of our drinking water. We have to think about all the life in and around water, all the plants and animals. Water is itself like a living being with personality, feelings and responsibilities. Water has a spirit and is needed to sustain and renew life. It is therefore sacred and must be treated with love and care, like a family member. Only then can it fulfill its own responsibility.